a very good morning students so this is your fourth session of chapter 18 fundamental concepts and today we are going to see some question which is important for you to understand and this is exercise 18b now we are going to see question number four in question number four it is asking state the number of terms in each of the following following expression first one is this is 2a minus b so you have to just tell uh, that how many terms are coming in this expression so simply this is 1 and this is 2 there so there are two terms which is coming in this expression now let's see third part third part is 3x minus x upon p so how many terms are there one term is this 3x and the next term is x upon p which is two terms clear now just see the fifth one this is 3x divided by 2 plus y plus 4 so 3x divided by 2 will be one term this is the second and this is the third so how many terms are there three so i hope you have understood that what we have to do in the question remaining parts will be for your assignment now let's see question number fifth in question number fifth you have to state whether true or false x y first part is saying x y and minus y x are like terms you have to tell that whether it is so over here you have to tell us that uh, whether it is true or false that x y and minus y x are like terms or not so this is true this are the like terms because the definition of the like term is that both are having the same literal coefficient clear x y over here also and y x means same coefficient is there okay minus sign will not be considered over here in case of coefficient okay because coefficient is the is this part clear so this is true now let's see the third one a and minus a are like terms yes they are also the like terms so this will be also true fifth one 5 and 5x are like terms yes they are not the like terms because here there is no coefficient and here x is there as a coefficient so this will be false i hope you have understood okay let's see the next question now let's see question six question six is telling us telling us for each expression tell whether it is monomial binomial binomial or trinomial okay so first is xy 
so x y is the single term okay so this is monomial then similarly third one here also 2x divided by y so it is also a monomial because these both are the similar term okay one term only because it can be written like this also 2x upon y so it will become a single term clear and now we are going to see the fifth one this is a x square minus x plus 5 so here you are seeing that a x is one term then x is the another and 5 is the uh, third one so this is trinomial I hope you have understood clear now question 7 write down the coefficient of x in the following write down the coefficient of x understood so first part is x so its coefficient is 1 because nothing is given when it, with it now third one minus 3x so here you are seeing that coefficient is minus 3 the next is fifth one 3 upon 2 xy so you have to write the coefficient of x so it will be 3 upon 2 y clear let's see now the ninth one okay question number ninth state the numerical coefficient of the following monomial here also similar thing state the numeral not numerical its numeral coefficient of the following monomial of the following monomial clear so first one is 5xy so what will be the monomial uh, what will be the coefficient of the following monomial so this will be 5 clear now see the third one 5 p q r so here also the co uh, the coefficient numeral coefficient you have to they are asking the numeral coefficient so this is also 5 clear and in this case seventh one minus 7 x divided by y so numeral coefficient is minus 7 understood now let's see question number 10 which will be the last question of this exercise and student your chapter 18 will be finished with this question okay you have to write the degree of the following polynomial okay so x plus x square so degree will be 2 okay power okay you have to write take the greatest power of the given expression and the greatest power is 2 now over here also in third one x to the power 3 x to the power 8 and x to the power 10 so there are three power given and we have to take the greater one so its degree will be that will become the degree of the given expression okay the the greater power in the expression will become the degree of this whole polynomial expression i have told you in the previous video so i hope it is very clear to you now let's see the last one sixth is 8x to the power 2y 
then minus 3 y to the power 2 plus x to the power 2 and y to the power 5 so here this is 8 x square y so power will be added this will be 3 then 3 y square power will be 2 and x square and y to the power 5 this power will be added and it will become 7 so the degree will be 7 which is the greater power okay so with this I would like to end my session and chapter so student chapter 18 is finished now in the next session we will be beginning with a new chapter that is fundamental operation chapter 19 okay thank you